plants with a taste for meat. Caught in a cage of skinny teeth. Venus's flytrap is a rootless design. The insect is fooled by a flowery shape, elaborate mechanics, and a greedy gape. Another ingenious meat-eater design. The pitcher plant is clever but unkind. Masquerading as a flower, a fake scent of nectar lures the insects to a slippery drop. They slowly drown and decompose. One species has sunk a rat. There's nothing cooler than that. The sundew has another cruel trick. Flexible tentacles and a pretty sticky dew caught in a deadly glue. Extreme and parasitic, the rare Rafflesia, the biggest single flower in the world. With no root, stem or leaf, it lives off a vine, its crucial host, using flies to deliver its pollen. A desperate dodder picks its victim with care, sucking its sap to gain strength to flower. Extremely hot, extremely dry. Plants still find a home. Saguaro cactus, full of liquid. Giant desert drink defended by spines. Desolate dunes. Adapted inhabitant. The birdcage plant keeps moving to survive. Extremely cold, extremely frozen. Flowers still grow. Cushion plants act like solar panels, keeping warm inside. Covered and cozy, the lobelia's flowers are protected by a hairy coat. Amazing adaptation. Extreme odors. Dead horse Aaron imitates the dead. Its smell of rotting flesh fools the flies, convinced it's a corpse they crawl inside. They fertilize and take pollen to another fake corpse. An incredible disguise. The Titan Aaron, a monster structure of tiny flowers, reproduces once in seven years helped by its smell of rotting fish. Flowers aren't always sweet. The orchid, a flower of many faces, copies the insect that helps it to spread, colors the world tricks. The largest group of plants, they stand out from the rest. Provider of perfume, a drowning pool, a bizarre and eye-catching lick, the old dead meat trick. The orchid has earned a reputation for beauty and success, an extreme expression of flower power. <laughs>